Hello, this is the third in our series of short videos demonstrating the key components of the care protocol used in the gastroschisis interventional study in Ghana, Zambia, Malawi and Tanzania. This video is focused on application of the preformed silo and you may have a protocol similar to this at your centre to follow. So you want to make sure that the baby is on the radiant heater or resuscitaire. You want to gather the appropriate team, so someone to help support and comfort the baby throughout the procedure, either with 10% dextrose on a finger to suck or on some gauze as shown here. And ideally in another assistant to help the person applying the silo. You want to do a full A, B, C, D, E check to make sure the baby has been fully resuscitated and their condition optimised beforehand. Make sure they've had their antibiotics, some paracetamol and again aspirate on the nasogastric tube to make sure the stomach is fully decompressed before you begin. Then you want to ask your assistant to kindly remove the plastic. Do this at the last minute so that the bowel is exposed for the least amount of time. Then, wearing sterile gloves, you want to check the bowel from one end to the other on both sides to check whether this is simple gastroschisis with normal bowel, for which you can use a preformed silo, this is the majority of cases, or whether this is complex gastroschisis with a perforation, so a hole in the bowel, or whether there's necrosis, a black section, or whether there's atresia with two blind ends or a wide dilated section going into a much thinner section. For complex gastroschisis, there needs to be an individualised surgical plan. And if you're not going to immediately apply the preformed silo, reapply the plastic so that the bowel is not exposed for any longer than necessary. So this is simple gastroschisis. We're going to proceed to silo application. First of all, I'm going to do a finger sweep using my little finger to check whether there's any adhesions between the abdominal wall and the bowel. If there are, then the surgeon can divide these normally at the cot side. Okay, so this is free. I'm going to apply an Alexis silo, and most times I use the green ring. I'm going to imagine the baby as a clock face. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I want my the cord here to remain at six o'clock throughout the silo application and the seam here at the top to remain at 12 o'clock without any twisting as that can twist the bowel inside which can cut off the blood supply resulting in bowel necrosis. I also want to feed in the apex of the bowel first so you can see on this baby with matted bowel that the apex is the top part of the bowel which goes into the silo first. So I'm then going to gently feed in the bowel into the silo, ensuring there's no twisting. If at any stage I see that the silo is twisted, either during the procedure or at the end, I'll remove the silo completely and start again, because simply twisting it back could mean that the bowel is twisted inside, which can result in bowel necrosis. So once all of the bowel is inside, I'll then pinch the green ring thin laterally so it's the same size as the defect. I'm then going to push the inferior end in down towards the bladder. I'm going to swap hands to keep the green ring pinched thin. I'm then going to push it in a cranial caudal position down towards the bladder so that the ring pops into the abdomen Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. I choose this direction because I don't want to be pushing up onto the liver. Once it's in, again, check that that string is at six o'clock. If not, remove the silo. Make sure the bowel's not twisted and start again. Now the bowel is in, you can apply warm saline, wash the bowel, tip that out, and you can repeat that to ensure the bowel has been fully washed. Then we're going to tie the silo from above. You don't need to tie it down tight at this stage or we'll let the bowel settle before doing any reductions. So we'll tie it up tight. Make sure it's directly above the patient, not tilted to one side or the other, and the baby must be lying on their back. This is 
because if it's tilted the blood supply can be compromised and the bowel necrosis occur. So once you're in that position you can apply some wet gauze, saline soaked gauze to the cord. Make sure that it's covered all the way to the base because you want to use that for the closure. Before applying that I would clean the abdominal wall and cord thoroughly with an antiseptic solution to make sure it's as clean as possible. At this stage you can do a full A, B, C, D, E check, ensure the clinical condition is optimised again and make a clear plan both written in the notes for the team but also a verbal handover to the team that are going to be caring for the baby to make sure the bowel will be monitored closely, the condition monitored and there's a plan for the patient's care.